Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a very simple process of how to prepare the surface of the mold. It's a very simple process and it's going to give you a mirror-like finish and very little work. I looked on um, YouTube to see if anybody else was doing this and I couldn't find anybody else so I thought I'd go ahead and um, make a video and explain how I um, do this. So what I mean to get a really nice finish is you know something like this and the process I go in to do this. This is very simple to do and it's not a lot of work. That's, um, that's the good thing about it. But anyway, let me go ahead and explain it to you how I um, go ahead and do this. First of all, my printer, my 3D printer, you want to, or well, my printer, your printer, you want to make sure that your settings or everything is set up properly. And so the printer is printing the best that it can. And uh, make sure that when you slice the project in your slicer, that all the settings are really good too. So you can get the best print out of it, like um, on the surface here, like this. There's, um, you really can't tell. You know, not unless you know um, what 3D printing look, look, looks like, that this is 3D printed here. And the surface here is very smooth. It has some um, layer lines in it, but they're very, very small. And um, as you can see, it has that whine to it, but it's not a really high-pitched whine. That tells me those lines are really close to each other. So, um, yeah. So this is what you want. You want to have a really good surface first. Set your printer up and everything. Now, after you do that, then you go down and buy yourself some um, automotive primer, automotive epoxy primer, the two-part primer, and um, get that. You can get that at your local automotive store or any paint store or whatever, but make sure that it's epoxy um, automotive primer. And, or, you know, um, you can order on a line and stuff like that. But you don't have to use an expensive brand. You can just use a cheap brand, um, the cheapest stuff you can get. Just, I just make sure that's epoxy. And um, what I use is this Omni brand. This is the, um, the Catalyst and the primer itself. This is the MP170 primer, and the Catalyst is MP175 that I use. And this is not expensive at all. It's um, relatively cheap. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is probably around $50 for the um, quart for both of these, $50 for both of these. And you can do a lot with them. So after you get that, go ahead and uh, mix that up in a cup. And once you have that mixed up, do not put it in the, um, an air gun and, and spray it on your part. You're not gonna do that. Um, because what that does, it atomizes and everything, and then it comes out very fine and it's very misty, and it just lays, it lays down a really nice layer, but it's just too thin. So what we wanna do is take a paintbrush and just brush, just brush the, um, the primer onto the surface. And um, just one layer of primer and just let that sit for two or three minutes and then come back and brush on another layer and let that sit again. If you need more layers, just uh, wait a few minutes, come back, brush on another layer. Now, once that um, you're done with all of that, just set, um, set the part aside and let that dry for 24 hours. After 25, uh, 24 hours is up, come on back in, look at it. And um, if you see some layer lines, whatever, that you don't like, you can go ahead and brush on some more um, primer on it. But normally, if your printer, uh, the printer printed a really good part, normally one or two coats will just do it. So now, after that's dry, then you come back to the part. And um, at the end, it really depends on how your surface is. Again, if you didn't, um, your printer didn't print the part that great, then you should come back with a hundred grit sandpaper and sand that down um, a little. And um, if it's you've got a good surface, then take two twenty grit sandpaper and sand over it um, on that, and sand it very well. Sand it well, and um, it should be dust, not dust, but the um, yeah, um, the primer dust should be coming off. And um, you'll see that. And then once you got everything sanded down with that 220, just go to the 400. And this is what I do with 400. I like to wet sand with the 400. Now, you don't have to wet sand. There, um, 
The only thing I've seen with uh, wet sanding is that it just doesn't, uh, well, it doesn't clog the paper as fast, the, the um, sandpaper. So that's why um, I'll use 400 um, grit um, sandpaper. Now, some people claim that, um, you know, sandpaper, sandpaper, and it, if you use a high quality sandpaper, you don't have to use um, water or anything like that either. But it, that's all up to you um, how you want to do that. But anyway, back to the process. After you um, sand it with that 400 grit, should be good to go now at 400. Now, if you're just gonna use primer over the, um, over the top of that, you can go ahead and shoot primer over it. Another, um, um, now you can use uh, primer in a can or, or primer in the gun and just shoot over that and you'll get a really nice um, surface over that. But um, like these, these molds here, um, these are painted, so after the 400, what I do is take um, paint, normally um, paint in a can, it just depends how I feel. If I decide like mixing up some paint and shooting it on with my, um, my air gun, or not my air gun, but my um, automotive air gun, I'll do that, but it just depends how I feel. And um, you shoot that over it, and you should have a nice finish um, from then on. And after that, then you just go back and um, polish it and wax it and you should have, like I said, you should have a really, really good finish um, now on the part. You should, it, it should look like, you know, um, like this, like I said, um, that it's got that mirror finish on it. And, and this, um, I'm talking maybe to, to do this on here, like this, this is maybe about 45 minutes worth of work. It's very simple to do. This process that um, I've, um, well, I don't know if I'm the first to come up with it, but I haven't seen anybody else do it like this. I've seen um, people um, in building model airplanes when it comes to um, putting down um, glass and wings and stuff like that, a lot of people will brush on the epoxy, epoxy like that too and sand it off to fill the, um, the weave in the glass. But besides that, I haven't seen anybody else doing this. But this process, like I said, it will work on any surface for 3D printing. And if you're into like making helmets, you know, like a Darth Vader helmets or or um, I don't know, stormtrooper helmets, anything like this. This process will give you that shiny finish um, on that product that you um, that you're looking for, and it's so simple and very easy to do, and it's not a lot of work. Uh, like me, I don't like sanding or anything, um, sanding a whole lot, but um, that's just the way things go. We have to sand um, a lot sometimes, and um, but. Anyway, I like to have my molds with this shiny finish on it because I like to paint in the molds and pull the part out of the mold. When I pull the part out of the mold, I really don't want to have to do a lot of finishing and stuff like that to it. I just like to pull the part out and um, you know just trim it up and use it as it is. And um, but yeah, so um, once like I said, once that 400 grit sandpaper, you get that down there, sand it. You can shoot another layer of primer over that or you can shoot uh, color over it. I, um, like I said, the paint, if I use the stuff in a can, I might use Krylon or um, Rust-Oleum, any, any paint like that. And then um, if I'm really going for that shiny finish, then I'll take like um, 1,000 grit, then to 1,500 grit, then to 2,000 grit sandpaper and sand that down. But anyway, this process is just, very easy to do and um, I like it a lot doing things um, like this but um, anyway that's going to wrap it up for this video and um, if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like my videos go ahead and hit the like button also and um, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments also I invite you to join my Facebook group um, Cat Bill Fly RC and my Patreon um, site also is um, Cat Bill Fly RC. So that's going to do it for this video, and we'll catch you in the next one. And have a great rest, rest of your week. Subscribe for more.